Right before we jump into this video, if you haven't signed up for the Fronos Photo email list, just look for this orange box over on the website, put your name, email address in it, hit send it, and I will send you a free guide to capturing motion in low light situations. Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Dot com and this video is to help you decide should you get a D850 or the D5. Now I'm gonna go over the specifications, but I already did real world reviews of both of these cameras. You can see those down below. If you go ahead and click the link, you can also download raw files for both of them to help you decide which one is for you. So why are we even comparing two cameras where the price is so different? First off, the D850 is priced at 3,300, where the D5 is priced at 6,500 bucks. You can basically get two D850s for the price of one D5. But a lot of people are starting to ask, is the D850 better than the D5 even at such a lower price? Are the specifications better? Is it worth it to save the money and purchase glass or does the D5 still have a place in this world? Before I jump into the specs, I want you to know that the D850 was released in September of 2017, and the D5 was in March of 2016. So it's much newer that at some point there will be a D5S and a D6 out before this D850 gets replaced. But right now, let's take a look at the specs, starting with the image sensor. The D850 has a 45.7 megapixel full frame BSI CMOS sensor with no AA filter, whereas the D5 has a 20.8 megapixel FX full frame CMOS sensor, but it does have the AA filter. Now is 45 megapixels needed? Does that mean that it's better? In some situations, yes. In other situations, no. And I discussed some of those in the real world review. In terms of no AA filter, that means you may be getting sharper video and sharper photos with the D850 than you may have gotten in the D5, but I don't really think you'll be able to tell much of a difference. That doesn't mean that the D5 won't get super sharp images. Both of these cameras have Xpeed 5 processors, so you're really not gonna see a difference there, but where you may start to see a difference is when we get to ISO. The Nikon D850 shoots from 64 to 25,600, expandable to 32 on the low side, all the way up to 102,000 400. The D5, on the other hand, shoots at 100 to 102,400 natively, expandable all the way up to 3.28 million. So the Nikon D5 is definitely getting the check mark here for better ISO, and let me explain why. Because you have less megapixels, you're going to get cleaner images at higher ISOs. The D850, because it has more megapixels, isn't going to be as clean at those higher ISOs. But where the D850 can get a check mark is at the low of 64, because you can't do that with the D5. So the D850 gets the check mark for low ISO, and the high ISO definitely goes to the D5. So how many frames a second can you get with both of these cameras? The D850 will give you seven frames a second straight out of the box, and if you add the vertical grip and the Nikon D5 battery, you can pump that to nine frames a second. Now the D5, on the other hand, will give you 12 frames a second right off the bat, which means check mark goes to the D5. Now which one of these cameras is better at silent shooting? Well, this is simple. The D5 sounds like a tank going off when you put it into its quote unquote silent shutter mode, and the D850 has added the ability to shoot six frames a second in full raw with the live view on, so check mark goes to the D850. In the D850, you have 153 focus points with 99 of them being cross-type, and you have the exact same thing in the D5. Now, a lot of people are talking about whether the D850, even though it has the same focusing system as this camera, is it as good? In my experiences, I haven't had much of a problem getting fast action in focus using the D850. So for me, in the situations where I've used the D850, I haven't seen it miss bad enough to tell me that it's not as good as the D5. But I rarely miss with this camera in most situations. 
Now on to the video specs. The D850 will shoot full frame 4K UHD video, recording at up to 30 frames a second. It will also do 1080 at 120 frames a second. That means any lens that you put on it will be that same millimeter. A 14 to 24 will still be a 14 to 24 even in 4K shooting. Now the D5 will do a 1.5X crop factor in 4K UHD, and it does not do 1080 at 120 frames a second. So any lens that you put on this one, if you're gonna shoot 4K, you multiply it by 1.5. So the check mark is definitely going to the D850 on this one. And since we're talking about video, if you're wondering what camera we're using to shoot me right now, this is the Nikon D850. The D850 comes with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in, where the D5 doesn't have it. You have to spend a ton of money if you want to get Wi-Fi transfer. Now, where does this come in handy with the D850? Well, if you take a picture and you want to see it on your phone and share it with the world, you can do it like that through SnapBridge, where with the D5, you just can't. So checkmark is going to the D850. Both of these cameras have the same exact 3.2 inch touchscreen when it comes to resolution. Now the touchscreen on the D850 is full touchscreen capability through the menus and everything else, where the D5, you don't have a lot of options for using the touchscreen, especially in the menu. But you can pinch, you can zoom, but you can't do everything else that you can do in the D850. Now the D850 also gives you the option for tilting, which brings it away from the camera more where the D5 doesn't, so check mark again D850. So moving back to the stills side, how many frames in a row can you get in RAW with the D850? And the answer is 51. And with the D5, you can get 200. Now part of the reasons you can get 200 with this is because it has the options for two XQD card slots or if you're somebody out there who still wants to use Compact Flash, you can get the Compact Flash version, but I highly suggest if you get in a D5, you stick with the one with two XQD cards. Now that's why you can get super fast transfer rates, which means you can get more shots in a row. In the D850, you have an XQD card, which is great. You also have a UHS-2 SD card slot so you get some nice fast speeds but the buffer inside of the d5 is going to be bigger is it worth the big price difference so in this case check mark is going to the d5 wind tunnel test time <laughs> check mark d850 now let's talk about joysticks and buttons. Now the layouts on both of these cameras are very similar. You find that the ISO button is in the same place on both of these cameras. There's a joystick for moving your focusing points on both of these cameras. You also have back illuminated buttons on both of these cameras. Now the one thing you don't have with the D850 is a grip built in, whereas on the D5, as you can tell, it's a behemoth, it's already built in. Do either of these get a check mark? No, because there are pros and cons to both. Now, I'm a big fan of the grip over here, but because you save so much money buying this one, you have a lot of money to buy a grip and then a lot left over to spend on glass. So check mark goes to me. Which camera is gonna give you better battery life, the D850 or the D5? The D5 because it has a larger battery. But with that being said, if you have the grip for the D850 and you have a D5 battery for it, well, you're gonna get a ton of shooting for stills and video, which is a good thing to have. It's just gonna cost you a lot more money, but right out of the box, which one's better? D5. The D850 weighs in at 2.01 pounds, where the D5 is 3.11 pounds. Now the D5 is built like a brick shit house. You can tell it's sealed, it's weather sealed. It's the camera that you're gonna use when you need something that's super duper rugged and is meant to be beat up, though I don't recommend that you beat up your cameras, that you should take good care of them. The D850 on the other hand is still gonna be pretty good in most situations. Just remember, it's not built as tough as the D5. So this I'm gonna give two check marks this time. If you're interested in something that's lighter, check mark to the D850. If you like having something that's beefier, check mark to the D5. Now with all of the specs out of the way, I wanna give you my final thoughts so I can help you decide which one is right for you. Now I personally own both of these and we use them for different situations and scenarios. The D850 is going to be a great camera when it comes to nature, 
landscapes, when it comes to portraits, because you get so many megapixels, you're gonna blow that stuff up extremely large. Not saying that you can't blow stuff up extremely large with the D5, but if you're somebody who likes to crop and you need more crop ability, you're gonna be able to do that with more megapixels. But if you need the 12 frames a second, you need the more rugged camera, you need a smaller file size, the D5 is a tremendous option. There's a reason that this is the flagship camera, and it also comes with a flagship type of price. With the D850, you could also dumb down the RAW file and shoot medium RAW if that's something that you would like to do, and that would give you a similar file size to what you would find in the D5. Now, I know this is a tough decision to make, but if you're a full-time professional, you make your living at shooting weddings, at shooting action, at shooting anything where it deems that you need a more rugged camera, a D5 is a tremendous option. It would be my choice if I was shooting weddings because of a slightly smaller file size, a faster shooting camera, better high ISO capability, because if you need to shoot in lower light situations, you're still going to get better results out of the D5. In low light situations with the D850, it's still going to do a pretty good job because you can shoot up there pretty high, you're just going to get cleaner shots with the D5. On the flip side, if you're a new professional, you're a hobbyist, you're somebody who likes to have great gear but you can't see spending $6,500, then this is a tremendous option because you have that 64 ISO, you have the higher ISO capability. It's not as clean as this, but this at half the price? is a tremendous value. Do I think it's better than the D5? Not for the stuff that I like to shoot, but for the majority of people out there, I think the D850 could be a better option for you because you can save the money, you can buy better glass if you have the money set aside, or it's just an all around great, fantastic option. Obviously, either way that you go, you'll be happy with the results. So I ask you guys this, which one would you get? Leave a comment down below so I know, would you go with the D850, would you go with the D5? And be sure to explain why. To check out both real world reviews, they're up on the screen right now. And don't forget to like, share, and comment here on the YouTubes. And if you're on Facebook, go ahead and give this a Sherry McSherison. And I thank you guys very much for watching Jared Polin Frono's photo dot com. See ya.